Here we go again. <coughs> Hopefully I can get this back in there focused. Um, on the one we just started there a few minutes ago, I had to get my chain stuff just in case she's having some trouble. Uh, but anyway, her sack's hanging out. It's fixing to bust. Seen some feet. Um, already come out. So, uh, we just we won't talk too much there. I don't want to stress her out any. But uh, that's what it looks like as it's getting ready to, to happen. <laughs> uh, I was talking about that other calf here. She's a little heifer. Like I said, you can see her face right there. Um, top of her head. She's also pregnant. And I've got... Um, I don't know, I've seen her her um, milk sack. It uh, is getting a little swelled up there. <laughs> um, her teats has not dropped yet on that little heifer one I'm talking about. But And then I've got another cow. Oh, um, uh, let's see, what do I call her? That's my mind just went blank. Um, anyway, she had a calf last year, and that was her first one. Now she's fixing to have another one just any time now. So, then I've got three other heifers that's, uh, they were bred in March. So they ought to be calving just in the next a little while also. So we got some calves coming up in this December. Today is December the 21st, first day of winter. And today is a, a, a year exactly uh, since I started YouTubing. I got 263, yeah, 263 subscribers right now, and hopefully we'll get some more. I was hoping to reach that thousand goal, um, but it just didn't happen. But we will we'll have a little patience and wait. And the time's right. We'll get that thousand subscribers. But the mother heifers, um, I don't know exactly uh, what date it'll be whenever they they calve. But uh, that bull I've got, he's a he's a real good bull. And, uh, I've seen him breed one of the cows there just oh just a few days ago. That I seen him breed back in in June. So she'll probably be headed down the road here before long. What she's gonna do here. Now, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is her second calf. Second. Maybe third, but I'm pretty sure it's just her second calf. She's not a real pretty cow, but she's my cow. <laughs> Tell she was in con some contractions there earlier whenever I first came up here to throw out some hay. Pinned her up last Friday. Today's Saturday. I pinned her up last Friday, so she's been in this pen here for eight days. And I've been uh, trying to keep it as clean as I can. I haven't had the chance to today. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Because a few days ago, I mean last year, I'm sorry, uh, year before last. One of the cows, old Bertha, she uh, she had a calf and had it right on the entrance of, uh, yeah, I see a hoof sticking out. It's coming out the right way. Uh, did you come as close to me, old girl, to get some help or what? But she had it right in the entrance of the barn in the mud and the slop and the poop and, and lost its scent or something. I don't know what happened, but I had to bottle feed it. And y'all know that I've, I've told you that story before. But um, anyway, I just uh, try to take care of these the best I know how. That's what what I started out to do. And, and I, I really enjoy them. They're aggravating at times because they don't, don't listen to me. They don't uh, do what I want them to do at times. They waste a lot of hay and... And they're kind of ignorant, but yet they're they're really smart, and I like taking care of them. 
I don't know how long this is going to take. I hope that thing don't bust all over the place. <laughs> Pretty nasty. She ain't about four foot from me. My wife on it's it's done a lot of videotape of this YouTube channel. She did just back up there and give us a a good shot there, didn't she? That other video before this one was just uh, two minutes. I was I wanted to call my wife and tell her if she wanted to come up and watch this or if I may need some help here directly to be on standby. So it's hard to believe something so big will come out of something so small. But that's God's plan. He's he knows exactly what he's doing, folks. He just he's just a good God. How these things work and the reproduction system and and the animals and humans and and the insects and the trees, the the flowers, the seeds that comes off of that, the fruit, everything is just amazing. God just truly is amazing. He is the 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 I am. Well, he told Moses there when Moses asked him, you know, who am I to tell you that, that tell those people that that uh, you're delivering them? What's your name? What are you gonna? What am I gonna tell them your name is? He just said, tell them I am that I am sent thee. So he is who he is. He's he is the I am. Everything to me. I wouldn't wouldn't trade this Christian life for nothing. He has been such a good good life so many things has changed so many things has changed but god don't change he just changes us if we allow him to <coughs> yeah there's that hoof again oh there comes two of them Up. Oh, yeah, there they come. Oh, man, that's going to be a big calf. My goodness. That is a big calf. That is a big calf. It's alive. What now there? Yes, indeed, he's wanting out of there. Oh, 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 oh. Goodness, girl, we're gonna break the tubs. Let me see if I can get her off of that gate there. She's gonna break the poor little fella's hooves. I'm assuming it's a fella. Pushing girl, you bad guy. Get on out of there. Get out of the way for the sack bus off the way. Get up against that gate, girl. You're gonna have to move. If you can, please. Man, that's a big calf. Well, I don't know it, thank God. You got that sack broke yet, baby. As soon as it breaks, I'll get in there and help you. Oh, 
Come on, you got a little push more. You just missed, eh? <laughs> <coughs> right. No stress. <coughs> yeah, that boy I've got, he, um, he does a lot of heifers. My goodness, he does a lot of heifers. I guess it's his fault. But a guy told me a couple years ago that um, if your bull's fresh, he hasn't bred done it for a while. The first one that he breeds, usually, whenever it comes out, it's going to be a bull calf because the bull calves are stronger than the heifer calves in the male. And uh, I see the head there. Man, oh man, it's gonna be a big calf. That a girl. Anyway, the, uh, gosh, that's a big calf. Um, the uh, bull calf, the sperm is a lot stronger than the heifer calf, so it gets there first. And uh, when the bull is, is, hasn't bred nothing for a while. So anyway, I don't know how true that is because my, my cows, they come in here, there, and yonder. They don't all come in at once. And as he breeds them, you know, they, uh, they all don't have bull calves. So I don't know about that theory. I mean, it's a good theory, but I don't know about that because I've got a lot of heifer calves. <laughs> And as I said, I don't know this um, this cow, what she was bred to. Uh, she was in a pen whenever I got her, whenever I seen her the first time, before I bought her. It was one of the ugliest bulls I've ever seen. His eyes was about 16 inches apart. Big head. So, um, I don't know what kind of bull he is. He was a, a baldy, about like what she is. But man, he was ugly. One of the ugliest bulls I've ever seen. Yeah, that is a big calf. That is a big calf. I'm gonna have to hook a change that thing on the, on the, on the shore to get that thing out of there. My goodness, I gotta wait for that cycle bus first. That's a big calf. My, 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 it's a big calf. <clears throat> I've chained a couple of them. Old Dr. Paul, I don't know if anybody's watched Dr. Paul or not, but he is, uh, he is pretty good. He's taught me some things, you know, several things about calving. There comes that head. There you go. I mean, I'll have to help her after all. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's amazing, folks. It just a truly amazing. That's a big calf. My goodness. What a sacking broke you in. That a girl. Look what a head on that thing. That a girl. You about got him out. I'm still claiming it's a hen. There you go. Look at there. Look at there. That is truly amazing, folks. That is truly amazing. Yeah, it's alive. You about got it. Yeah, it's alive. Oh, yeah. yeah it's not as big as I thought it was. It just looked big coming through that little hole. Good girl. Oh, yeah. Looky there, looky there. Yeah, it's not as big as I thought, but praise God that we got a calf. You got it, girl. You got it. Yes, indeed, you got it.
Good girl. Shouldn't you get that sack off its head? Huh? Amazing. Simply amazing. Simply amazing. Life, life, look at that life, just just life. Amazes me, just just simply amazes me. It's simply amazing. Absolutely. Already green and gain strength. Life. Folks, it's just amazing. Just just amazing. It's life. I'm gonna get back here out of the way. So she can do her natural born instinct thing to do.
That calf's gonna get up and walk here directly. Clear. Pretty much anyway. Pretty much. Seems like a little bit more cleaning on this poop infested thing. Hell, I mean, she's done a lot since I've been here in the last hour. <coughs> There, bud. See you looking this way. The muscles are getting stout in the neck. In the legs. That's amazing. Oh, I couldn't see there almost. Let's see if it's got a. Oh, it is. Yeah, I see the little nut sack on it. It is a little bull. <laughs> thank God, thank God. I just thank God if it was a heifer. I don't care. And just amazing, amazing. The just life. It's just life. Love it. Yeah, I see little little testicles. Way back in there. Yeah, he just put his head in back there. Yeah, little testes. Just seeing how long it's taken for the time of of them feet hanging out until it gets up and starts walking and sucking. <clears throat> a little little link, lengthy video. This is this is worth watching. Very much so. Well, the reason, folks, and some of y'all don't know is, is uh, the bulls, which become steers later on, they are a little bit more, a little bit more money when you go to sell them, um, and they say eating them also. I don't, I don't know. I've eaten the cows, I've eaten the bulls, I've eaten the steers, and they all taste really good to me. I, it doesn't matter to me. 
But anyway, when you go to the market or you're selling to other farmers around about that's trying to get them a load for the, the big uh, market, uh, the steers, 500 pound steer and a 500 pound heifer, <coughs> excuse me, um, you're looking at about 25, 30 cents a pound more. So, you know, that's an extra hundred bucks for a steer. Yeah. So, well, not a hundred, right? Seventy-five or whatever. But anyway, it, they're just they're just more money. And you get up to six, seven hundred pounds, eight hundred pounds. Somebody wanting a beef, they'll they'll pay more for the steer than what they will the the heifer. If you're still with us from the uh, beginning, uh, we ask you to to like and to share and, and to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already to this uh, farm channel. I'm going to have to get out of here. So. <coughs> I have the, the, the pen. I've got a, what is that, 24 by 10 foot here. I've had her in, like I said, for the last eight days. And she started uh, swelling up her uh, last week sometime, and, and uh, I wanted to get her in here because it got cold. It was it was really cold, and I wanted to get her in where it was a little bit drier. We've had a lot of rain, then it turned to snow, and today it got up to forty plus. Tomorrow's supposed to be up fifty. And I was going to turn her out last night, and I even opened up the gate and tried to shoo her out, and she didn't want to go. I mean, I didn't force her. <coughs> and then today, I started to put her out again. And, and then um, this evening, I, when I come back home, I'm, I'm glad I didn't. I'm really glad I didn't. I got to shine the light on her and, and uh, do a little video. And... Educational, folks. Educational. Educational. 27 minutes now we've been in it. 27 minutes. And she's um, she's got the body pretty dry. Well, it dry, dry, but got most of the afterbirth off of it. <coughs> and she's uh, licking the underneath. Uh, gonna have to get to that face there. Uh, if I was to guess, I'd say he probably weighs, I don't know, 30 pounds maybe. I ain't high tech and technical about um, a set of scales for him, not yet anyway. Yeah, I will, I'll get me some, maybe one of these days. And that way, when they first come out, we'll see them. I say, "Way." Some people says they have 60, 65 pound calves. Uh, man, that's a big calf. I thought he was gonna be a little bit bigger than that when he first started because of the way them feet are. My gosh, he's got some big feet. Let me put some hay over there across all that poop. real well she don't seem like she's aggressive but I don't want to take no chance now she's got a newborn in here she's not going to charge me she's not as ugly as your mommy everybody not yet anyway I think you're beautiful. I think you're beautiful. Well, she's looking at me when she's done that, huh? Possibility. Put 
Good girl. I named her Judy. <coughs> Judy. For whatever reason, I don't know. That just came to me. But her and that, like I said, that heifer and another cow. She's got a calf on her, a little bull calf. Off the same guy there. And, and uh, the cow that's got the calf, I named her Janie. And uh, the other little heifer that's pregnant, I haven't given her a name yet. Janie, and this is Judy. Judy with a baby. Brand new baby boy. There's nothing I seen her a while ago. Not on her. Her hind end swelling up, but man, oh man, her teats. Uh, teats was full. Yesterday they had a lot of wrinkles in them, and today they's full. So that milk's dropped down. Um, say again, today's Saturday. I think it was about uh, Tuesday. About Tuesday, I believe it was, whenever. Uh, I read it's under, underneath her there, you know. Just to check and then grab one of her udders and, and it uh, it had milk in it. Give it a little squeeze and it milked, milked right out there. This process here is kind of kind of pitiful. The way trying to get them things to get up and get on their feet, but it takes them five or six attempts before they. Master it. Look at that back. It's already dry. She's been licking, licking, licking. <coughs> Good girl, Judy. I just don't understand why. Oh. Um. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Can't understand why Mother Cow didn't take her calf for this last one we just had. Uh, Charlotte. That big black cow guy. Um what's her calf? She's she, yeah, she's right there. Laying there in the hay, doing just fine. Growing like a weed. She's been stealing off of of uh red. Red's got a little bull calf on her. Um, he uh, starts hollering for Red, and whenever they meet up, that little heifer calf, she's she's right next to that little bull calf, uh, stealing off the backside of, of Red, getting her some some uh, milk. She's smartened right up. <laughs> Thirty-four minutes. I'm telling you, folks, if it was zero degree, it'd be, it'd be rough on these little fellas. My neighbor said it was uh, seven below zero when he he had one out, uh, calf one night, and got the generator, the blow dryer, and kept it warm. I ain't got no doors in my barn here. I just. Figured it'd be a drier place, you know. That's what I was figuring. A little bull calf. A lot of people like to band their calves right early. I I seen uh, different results there. Leaving them unbanded 
uh, until they get a little bit bigger. They, I think, from what I've seen, they they grow a little bit faster. Um, if you leave their testes and uh, band them later on. These last calves I sold, that bull calf that I didn't band, he was he was about a month and a half younger than um, one of the steers that I steered, the bulls that I steered, and the heifers all was born right about the same week. And him being a month and a half younger, he was as big as the heifers and not too far from the steers. <coughs> Coming out of the same bull. But another thing I will do is tag them. I got I got to tag them. But I'll tag these little fellas there whenever I put the band on them there in the spring. This past past spring, uh, well, actually, it wasn't spring or summer. Um, late summer, moving cattle around, and I got a few of them mixed up. Not the wrong cows, the wrong cows. <laughs> I didn't mark none of them. Didn't didn't uh, tag any of them. I want to do a little bit, but a, little, a little bit better this year. Big girl, Judy. Every time I say it, I think about Gomer or Goober. Judy, 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 Judy. Old Goober pile. Probably hungry. You want to try to get up and get him something to eat. <coughs> <coughs> Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. He's pretty solid black, ain't he? I don't know if that was the bull that I seen that she was with. It's daddy. He had a white face also. I don't know.
70 years. Still got some fluid in his lung there. Sounds like it. Pulled that sack off his face. I might have should have done that a little earlier. That was strange that that sack didn't bust, you know. I've seen him bust um, when the hooves come out. And then I guess, I guess some calves, they die because... They suffocate inside the mom's womb. I'm sure he'd have been okay, but uh, I gave him a little help there. A little bit of help. Some strain. I'm gonna put some hay over that old afterbirth there. So <coughs> he slipped <coughs> sliding on it. <coughs> Excuse me. 43 and a half minutes. There's a can't see her, can you? Yeah, you can. There's my other heifer. That she's she's pregnant. Well, she missed last year. She better be pregnant this year. We just butchered one there uh, two weeks ago that missed out, and it was uh, she was about the same age as this one right here, and. Uh, She's she's somebody's beef now. I'd say one more attempt there. He'll he'll get up out of there. He might make that time head over heels. Toughest. Toughest little critters I've ever seen. These other cows abuse them and knock them up against the wall and up against the gates and stomp on them and everything else. They, they're pretty tough. Run through the briar patches. Job, Judy. That a girl. She's not a great big old cow. She probably don't weigh eight hundred fifty nine hundred pounds. Either. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you 
جایگیره کنه Pretty boy. Mm. Oh, you got the back ones up. Front ones just ain't working yet. Step every half way. <coughs> Come this way. Forty eight minutes, forty nine minutes. Uh, We're going to see him get up this time. Got off, man. Pretty much. Can't get up. Y'all so good. How can you deny a God that creates things? Everything's so perfect with Him. He's a perfect God.
Well, maybe he ain't gonna suck yet. <laughs> She's gonna lay down there. You know, I'm gonna go home and take a shower and get my wet shoes off. Come back in the morning there and check on him, make sure he's sucking. I see him get up and walk around before I go. It's 55 minutes. <coughs> Five more and I'm going to head on out. Simply amazing. All right, then. Fifty six minutes. Um, we'll see about bringing some more footage tomorrow. You know, sucking or something. I don't know. Anyway. <coughs> Thank for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, we ask you to do so.
Still looking to reach that thousand subscribers one of these days, hopefully. Um, until this time, next time, may God bless you and all that you do if you do it for me.